Welcome to another episode of Ketchup in the Kitchen. I'm Joan Eve, your hostess, and today I'm going to make show you how to make a few really cool items for Halloween. You can get the kids involved in these things as well with you. They're all kid-friendly recipes. Uh, what we're going to make is these candy corn milkshakes. They're delicious. We're also going to make these witch broomsticks. Very, very easy, simple, and you can have the kids help. These are our little smoky and hot dog mummies with a ketchup and mustard dip. And over here we have our cheesy bones with a marinara dip. I'm going to show you how to make all of these items. Let's get started. how to put together the Little smoky or Hot Dogs, whichever one you choose. I've chosen a Beef Little smoky and a Turkey Hot Dog, that way whatever my guests like, if they have preferences, they can choose. One's a little smaller and one's a little bigger. What you're going to need to put these together is crescent rolls, a package of Little smokies that are found in your meat department, or hot dogs, franks, any kind of link that you like, you could put in these crescent rolls. For each package that you grab, you're going to want to grab a craft pack of the Crescent Rolls. And those are found in the refrigerated section of your grocery store. What you're going to need as well is a pizza cutter. Because when you do take the dough out, you're going to slice it into strips. And that's what's going to create the mummy effect like it's taped up. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, time to prepare them and get them ready to put on a cookie sheet that is sprayed with a cooking spray. You can use any standard cooking sheet you'd like, but they do work best for these. So I've now uh, taken the, and, and cut into strips. I'm going to cut the rest into strips here. It's really easy. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And now I'm going to take my hot dog because it's going to be easier for you to see what I'm doing. But you can choose little smokies or anything that's like this that you'd like to wrap in the crescent roll. I'm going to start by wrapping and giving it a head wrap. And take another strip and uh, leaving room because faces uh, on the mummies were exposed but everything else was wrapped up. This does not have to be perfect by any means. Actually the less perfect that it looks the better it comes out once it's baked. Kids can help you with this. Let them get involved. They'll probably eat their dinner a lot better. Wrapping it around, wrapping it around until it's covered. And this is what it should look like. It's ready for the oven. I've already preheated my oven to a 385. You're gonna to wanna to look at your crescent roll package though. They do vary from 375 to 400. These are gonna go in for about 12 to 14 minutes. At the 12 minute mark, I'm gonna watch them. This should be done in no time. Okay, for the dipping sauce today, I'm going to be using a ketchup and mustard. That's what the family prefer, prefers, so that's what I'm going to use. You can most definitely use a barbecue sauce or any other kind of dipping sauce that you would like. Uh, get creative with it and uh, just try some things. Uh, because it's Halloween, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more fun by drawing a spider web on the top. So, I'm just going to Simply go around in a circle with the mustard on top of the ketchup and create a spider web effect. Putting a, a dot in the center and using lines to connect. 
Not my favorite mustard bottle I've ever come across, but we're gonna make it work today. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna connect it here. Connect it there. And give it a little spider web. Now if you had some fun like little uh, spiders that are plastic and whatnot, you could put them around of your web. So I think the Little Smokies are done in the hot dogs, so we're going to go ahead and uh, check on them in the oven now. Oh yes. They look great. The crescent roll part is cooked. The hot dog part is cooked. And alongside of our dip, they're going to be delicious. Okay, for this next fun idea, we're gonna make witches broomsticks. Simply, Reese's miniature cups, already unwrapped, pretzel sticks, and for a little splash of color on it, I'm using orange icing. You can find that anywhere on your uh, cake aisle at the, your department store. We're gonna just put a dollop of the icing on top. Orange is fun. You could use any color that you'd like. And I've laid these upside down. And I'm gonna take the pretzel stick and I'm just gonna simply place it down in the center, in the middle, and proceed to do that with all of them. And as you can see, in a very, very short amount of time, you could have a platter that's Halloween appropriate, inexpensive, and the kids could actually put it together. Combination of sweet and salty. Who doesn't love that? And there we have it, which is broomsticks. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how we put together these cheesy bones. Simply, you can take pizza crust, breadsticks from your refrigerator section at your grocery store, and we're just gonna kinda of put them in our hands and do like this until they're about five inches long. When they're five inches long, you take the end and you just simply put it in a knot. And everyone knows how to do those that can tie their shoe. So we're gonna put another knot in the other end. And once we have a knot in each end, it becomes then about a two inch item. And we're gonna take it in this Parmesan cheese and we're just going to roll them in the cheese and then place them onto the grease cookie sheet. All right, these cheesy bones are ready to go in the oven. I preheated it according to the package instructions, and I'm just gonna put them now in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. What I'm gonna serve with this today is a marinara. You could choose a ranch dip or any type of dip that you do like with a breadstick. It's gonna be, that's gonna be what you're gonna want. I've just simply put some marinara in a bowl because everything I'm doing today is easy and kid friendly. What I'm gonna do is just take this mozzarella cheese and just like I did the mustard on the ketchup, I'm just gonna create a web with the cheese, just putting it around the bowl of marinara. When people dip into it, these hot bread sticks are going to melt this cheese and marinara and it just simply looks like a spider web, okay? And that's all. We'll just wait for those to get out of the oven and they're gonna be great. Okay, now we're gonna to put together our candy corn milkshakes. They are not gonna taste like candy corns for those of you who are fans of candy corn, but they are gonna taste like the 50-50 shake where it has orange sherbet and vanilla mix. So uh, we're going for the color and we want it to look like a candy corn. And they're gonna go in these cups for display. What I've already done is put about four scoops of ice cream, about a scoop per drink that I'm trying to make of each color. And I've already put that inside the blender with food coloring that I found on my uh, aisle where I get any kind of cake mixes and things like that. So uh, I put that in there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk into it. That way it'll blend better.
that's thoroughly blended now. And we're just going to distribute those on the bottom layer of each one of these cups. Just like the candy corns that are in the cups in front of me. If you forget how they look, just go by the candy corns. And then we're going to work on the sherbet portion. All right, so now we're going to do the sherbet portion. Again, I am putting about approximately four scoops or so into it, depending on the size cup that you're using. I mean, if you want to give bigger drinks, you're going to want to, of course, load these up. You're going to have to experiment with the measurements. But a milkshake is just simply your ice cream that you like combined with the, um, some milk and you shake it up. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, it's already the orange color that we want. So I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of milk, see if we can get it stirring. So now that we've done that part, we're just going to portion it out on top of the yellow layer. Um, I don't want to be too splashy with it because I don't want the layers to mix. So when you go to your second layer, you're going to kind of gently put them in the cups rather than flopping them. Um, just to ensure that you get that layered look that you're going for. Smells like our cheesy bones are almost done as well. We'll need to check on those in just a moment. Make sure we get every bit of goodness out for my party guests. Okay, so now that we've done a yellow layer and an orange layer, we're going to simply Get the Cool Whip or whatever brand that you like using of a whip topping and you simply just put a dollop of that at the top and that's going to act as the white layer of the candy corn and then we are going to take on the top and just adorn them with a couple of candy corns so that people can get the idea of what type of drink it is. And there we have it. Let's check on those cheesy bones. Yes, they're looking great. This party's coming together just like I hoped. We're going to put these together and uh, show you the spread in just a moment. Thank you so much for watching today. It's been so much fun teaching you a few things that you could do for your Halloween party. For this and more recipes, please visit me at www.facebook.com forward slash ketchup in the kitchen. That's K-E-T-C-H-U-P in the kitchen, all one word. You can also check me out on YouTube. Just put in the search ketchup in the kitchen. That's K-E-T-C-H-U-P in the kitchen. Once you do that, you're going to see other videos that you can watch, more recipes, and on the next episode, we're going to be doing Thanksgiving, where you'll learn some from scratch recipes. Not as easy as today, but we're going to learn something together. I look forward to it. Please join me next time at Ketchup in the Kitchen with Joni. Bye-bye.